Hey traders, Raggy here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some daily time frames and what they could mean to tomorrow's trading. Now, we have an inside day for the second day in a row. So this was the first large ranging day, Monday, inside day on Tuesday, and an inside day of Tuesday's range today as we see the markets have once again traded within the range of the previous session. So the thing to remember about trading within the range of a previous session is that it just continues to emphasize the uh, well, the uncertainty and the indecision that continues to be an issue. Now, the other thing to notice is that we're closing on the lower end of the range and that continues. And, and this is a remarkable thing to look at when you think about the power of technical analysis, in this case, volume weighted average price anchored to the first of the month, which is what this uh, lower the cyan line is. Look how we're just hugging that level. In other words, there's a gravitational pull. Even when we get a little bit below it, the market snaps back up. And, and in this case, even when we get too far above it, the market brings it right back. So there's a gravitational pull to that volume weighted average price. And until the market decides which side of that October 1, the, the month, month anchored VWAP, which side it wants to exist on, I think the same kind of chop and indecision is gonna plague the intraday behavior. Uh, the NASDAQ, let's take a look at that same thing. Uh, again, not too far above, not too far below, and a lot of chop, choppy action. So if there is sort of a dangerous spot on the chart, it's going to be as we are trying to break a threshold of staying either above this first of the month anchored volume weighted average price, or if we're going to get below. So again, Dow is in that same situation. Here's the Russell. Russell is actually a little bit more clear. It's just now getting to the support of that volume weighted average price. The Russell may be the market. I'm a little bit more bullish on tomorrow as we get down to 1600. So if there's a market that I'm going to feel possibly more comfortable with, it's going to be some v -score, intraday of V-score lows on the one minute Russell futures and possibly a fade of this area around the 1600 major psychological level. So that's one, you know, when I take a look at all four of these indices, it's probably the one that I've been pay, paying attention to in some ways the least. And that is, can we get some support around 1600? Would that sink up around the uh, low of the V score that we'll see tomorrow between seven and 930? And uh, if it can sync up with some of our volatility ranges, the HPMR boxes, even better. All right, so that's what I'm going to have my eye on tomorrow. I'll see you in the next update.